Hello, hello, and we are back with our other piece, which will show us the shadow, how to create the shadow in the uh, piece. So we're playing with the colors. We're going to do very similar exercise which, uh, we've done uh, yesterday. And obviously I'm using the same color. Instead of white, I've got black, tiny bit, because we probably won't need that much. Instead of starting with darker color, we're going to start with the lighter. So I'm going to start the same way with my beautiful turquoise blue. Oh, this color really makes me feel happy. Absolutely stunning. Put a little bit too much, I mean, so then you can uh, blend it really nicely. And I'm going to start adding black. We will be very careful with that. Uh, already make mistake but it's very strong this is not like painting with white with black um, yeah you can add a tiny bit and look how it changes already make a really big impact so I will come back to this don't worry because you can still blend it really nicely but what I'm saying is just be very careful with the black color because we don't want to have a line with black what the purpose of it is to just see how it blends together with the with our color so a little bit more here little bit more black so we're gonna we have to make a bigger deep now because I started a little bit too early with this color in my opinion so the effect will be the same won't be the same but you can already see how it changes you can even go into black color if you want with adding a little bit of blue so then you will see you will see what is the what's the difference between uh, so black with blue is actually especially with this turquoise blue it goes to sort of like a greeny greeny type color but you could still use with um, to create the shadows in your in your piece very easily so I'm adding a little bit of black to just give you um, to just show you the difference really and then more black at the end just to see don't worry if the piece will be too dark but uh, make sure you're gonna start so halfway through so then it won't be that dark like my one is I'm gonna add a little bit of good clearer oh, actually it doesn't look that bad with clearer brush so I'm gonna add a little bit of more blue at the end here and then it will really nicely blend together is going quite well so if you can see how is the color changing really um, very easy to see how it's changing now I'm gonna add a little bit more blue at the end then you will see how it's changing nicely yeah I think that looks good so yeah, this is your uh, challenge for today. Again, I use the board, not canvas. You can even use like a paper board or something and just have a play. Okay, and it looks like that. Boom. So this is the shade and that's the light. Okay, have fun.